we've reached some important agreements today following a very productive meeting. To start, we've agreed to launch exploratory talks towards a potential free trade agreement between Canada and China. And further to this, we set an ambitious new goal to double bilateral trade between Canada and China by 2025. We are pleased to have witnessed the commercial signings today that will help achieve this goal. We know that there's a huge amount of untapped potential in our commercial relationship. This new trade target will benefit Canadian workers and business owners while creating good, well-paying jobs. We also agreed in principle to launch the Canada-China Economic and Financial Strategic Dialogue, which, as a forum, will seek to guide the economic relationship between our two countries now and into the future. We're also very pleased to announce that we've found a predictable, science-based and stable solution to ensure access to the Chinese market by Canadian canola exporters through early 2020. This is great news for our Canadian canola farmers. Our progress on this file goes to show how two countries willing to collaborate can solve difficult challenges together. Canada and China also agreed to double two-way visits by 2025 and to sign an agreement on tourism, both of which will further strengthen our people-to-people -people ties. The Premier and I took today's meetings as an opportunity to reaffirm our mutual commitment to address climate change through the full implementation of the Paris Agreement. We know the Canada-China relationship is going to be increasingly important over the coming years. There's no doubt about it. China is a big player on the world stage, boasting an increasingly skilled, educated workforce and innovative industries, which is actually something our two countries have in common. It is in the best interests of all Canadians to ensure that we have a strong, stable relationship going forward one that is grounded in mutual respect and honest, regular engagement. I'm looking forward to a renewed partnership with China in the years ahead, one that will open the door to even greater opportunities for Canadians and for their families.